Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Chrissy Van with Fantastic Finances and today I'm going over a scenario with a first lien. The HELOC would come in and devour this mortgage that's at 148,000 currently. As long as the credit score is 700 plus, 90% loan to value is usually the norm for all of the first lien HELOCs. So we want to talk about a couple in debt to the point they're at 110 negative cash flow meaning that by the time their income comes in and all of their expenses go out, they are in the negative. So they're feeling it and they want some relief and we don't blame them. So let's see what we can do to help them. Their total debt is $214,253. Uh, that includes the mortgage at one forty eight, dollars And then they have two personal loans at $25,642 and $26,000. I know these hurt and that's a big chunk coming out. So if they could get rid of the $1,140 a month, imagine how they could breathe, right? With the negative cash flow, it looks like they're going to be in debt forever. But with this scenario, I think that they'll be very, very tickled. Well, I don't have everything debt wise on the board. They have credit cards and other expenses I do not have on here. I wanted to do a quick scenario so they could get an idea of what the first lien could bring to their lives. And so I just added their big debts because in my mind, these are the first three that they would knock off immediately as soon as they get that money put in their accounts. All the HELOCs, all the lines of credit are on an average daily balance, okay? It is not like an amortized loan where you got this big chunk loan and then you got one payment for the rest of your life. That is not the way a line of credit works. As this line of credit comes down in the balance, so does your interest. Okay. So that's what you will be paying interest only in the first lien HELOC. But the way we play the game is you can get out of that line of credit really, really quickly. But guess what? It's there. You can go right back in and use it again. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. So let's just imagine they get their house appraised. It's 240,000. They get 216,000 approved on their line of credit. Immediately they come in and this mortgage is wiped out. Okay, so they're done with the mortgage and they're done with the mortgage payment. Then they're like, hey, I want to get rid of those loans. They're killing me. I want that $1,140 a month. Okay, so we would knock those two loans out. And then the only amount not used in this HELOC would be $16,358. That is sitting there. Okay, and the wonderful thing about that is if these guys were to have $26,000 sitting in the bank right now, and they realize that they have 16000 sitting in a line of credit, they would take their $26,000 and put it right into this line of credit. Because when you understand that when money is sitting in the bank, it's not working for you. It's working for the bank. That's why they come up with the rules that we would put all of our money into the bank and you got to have that savings account because, you know, that's the responsible thing to do. Well, it's responsible for them because guess what? They're loaning off of every dime you leave in that bank. So that's why the rules are set up the way they are. And as soon as we get a job, what's the first thing that your parents tell you to do? Well, you got to go get the checking account. You got to go get your savings account because you got to start saving your money. That is the American way. That's what we're trying to break away from here because we want our money to work for us. And like this couple, they are working for the banks right now because all of this is money that the bank can't wait till they make that next payment. Once they make that $500 payment into the $26,000, can they go back in and access it? Can they say, hey, I made that $500 payment. I'm going to need $400 of that back because I've got to pay a doctor bill. No, once we cast all of this into these loans, it's gone and you don't get it back. Okay, so let's talk about that. When we are looking at the HELOC, with all of these loans gone, the balance would be $199,642. Now, the way the HELOC is going to work is like a checking account. So it'll be just like you're doing it in your bank right now. You put your money in, your income comes into your account. You let it sit there and then you start paying out bills. You start buying gas. You go to the grocery store. Same exact thing with this HELOC, except everything you do is working for you. OK, so when you get paid, you're going to transfer all of your money. Everything you bring in in a month will go into the HELOC. What does that immediately do? Well, it looks like to me it's going to knock your balance down to about one hundred and ninety thousand five hundred. Right. 
when you take the 199 and minus off your 9110, your balance immediately drops out, which immediately helps any interest charges. Then throughout the month, on the first, your electric bill. On the third, you buy gas. On the first, second, and third, you run to Chick-fil-A and you grab, you know, a $25 meal. Every day, slowly throughout the month, this is building back up to your expenses. Now, the $66.75, you might be asking, why that expense? That This couple gave me a breakdown of their uh, food, gas, all of their utilities, you know, uh, if they have any yard work or maid service or pay tithes or giving, all of that is already out. They have given me their numbers and the expenses were ninety two twenty. But see, when we wiped all this out, all of a sudden money appears, cash flow is there. And now they have $2,435 in cash flow that they did not have before. And they did nothing different. That's what's amazing. It's not magic. It's math. All they did was took everything they already have. They already have this. They're already paying out the wazoo for this. Already paying for it. All they did was transferred it into a smart fund. Let's call it a smart fund. So when all of these payments disappear and now we're in the smart fund and we have our balance right here of these three, he's not even making a payment. He's just using this as his checking account. So he's going to put in his income. He's going to minus out his expenses through the month. He's not going to think about this. He's going to have checks. He's going to have debit cards. He's not even going to think about where's the money coming from? How am I going to make the $640 payment? Oh my gosh, we had a doctor bill of, you know, $300. Where's that going to come from? Guess what? You have 16358 to work with right here. This is your money. This is your equity in your home. It's not going anywhere. It's going to build up because you're making $9,000 deposits into this account every month. And every time you do this, the balance comes down. So I would rather be safe than sorry when it comes to figuring interest. And so I figured that since the rates right now are running 6.25 to 7%, that I went ahead and figured it at 10%. 10%. That's outrageous, right? Well, I'm getting ready to show you the difference between a 10% HELOC and a 3.5% mortgage, okay? So after you add in your 10% of charges that you're going to have, or you would have if it was a 10% rate, you do this. You put your income in. You take your expenses out. They, you don't make the payments. All they do is they take the interest out of your equity. So I added $20,000, actually made it $220,000 in your balance. Then I did your income in, your expenses out. How long do you think that it's going to take to pay this HELOC off doing it that way with that much interest in, included already? 7.52 years. This couple will have their home paid off and two personal loans in 7.52 years. They're not changing one thing except where they deposit their money. I'm not asking them to go frugal. I'm not asking them to eat beans and rice. Not asking them to cut up their credit cards. Just asking them, think about where you're putting your money. So I ran a little total for myself. Because the mortgage they have right now, I wasn't sure if it was at a 3.5%. Maybe it may be higher. I'm not sure. But I took 3.5% on a $150,000 loan. And so I ran it out seven and a half years, which would bring us to June of 2030. And I wanted to see where they will be in June of 2030. Okay. $150,000 loan at 3.5%. 5%. You use your Carl's mortgage calculator. Very trusty. Very good. In seven and a half years, their balance on this current mortgage will be $125,744. In seven and a half years, they're still going to owe $125,744. $725,744 on the mortgage only. They may still have these two. I'm just talking about the mortgage. Then 
that means that over the seven and a half years, they have paid over $33,000 in interest and they are still making this $1,405 payment every month and they will have it for the remainder of the mortgage. I didn't figure out past seven and a half years. I just figured to compare to this HELOC doing the exact same thing, comparing it to what they're currently in right now at seven and a half more years, they're still going to have this balance to pay. They're paying over 33,000 in interest alone and this HELOC will be gone. It's a real serious problem when we have loans out there that are amortized that are eating us up in interest and we're so busy buying another house for the bank that we're not paying attention to where our money is getting thrown away to. I take that very seriously. I'm very serious about people thinking about where their money is going, thinking about how they're throwing it away. This family needs cash today. They're, they're completely suffocating in debt. They have, you know, a negative cash flow. That hurts. People can feel that. That is stress and pressure that as soon as they decide this is the answer, I mean, 45 days and they can breathe. It's something that everybody needs to consider. When they have value in their home, they have options that they haven't considered before. Yes, you can do this with a credit card. Yes, you can do this with a HELOC second position. You can do this with a line of credit of $15,000 at any bank. I mean, it doesn't take a first lien, but with the first lien, everything is going into that like you're checking. Everything is coming out and you can breathe. And then if you have an emergency, you have money to go get. You don't need a savings account over here. You don't need a separate account, the cash just sitting in it. When you can be putting it in here and saving so much in interest, getting that debt off of you so quickly. And I just want, it's like I'm trying to scream to the world, think about where you're putting your money. It's not a change in lifestyle. I don't want them to stop using their maid service. I want them to be able to breathe and focus on life problems, not on debt, not on where's the money coming from. They have plenty of money. That's a good income. That's excellent. I work with people every day that have 7,000 less than that a month. And they're not in any worse shape than this couple. So if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And if there's something, you know, I made a mistake, please call me out on it. I'm not surprised because I ran through this very, very quickly. The truth is you're going to beat a mortgage every day when you get a HELOC. Every day. There's just no sense in them setting, paying $33,000 in interest for the next seven and a half years when it could be going into this right here and this thing be gone in seven and a half years. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be glad to go over them with you. Thank you and have a great night.